The Appropriations Subcommittee on Labor, Health, Human Services, Education, and Related Agencies will come to order. Uh, good morning, uh, Secretary Perez. Thank you for uh, taking your time to be here with us today to discuss the Department's uh, FY17 budget request. We look forward to hearing your testimony and the chance to uh, talk about it, uh, certainly fostering an environment uh, uh, and regulatory agenda where everyone can uh, move forward in a positive way, where, where jobs can flourish, where workers are protected, uh, where Americans can establish and grow businesses and keep the country's economic engine driving forward are shared priorities. Uh, this is a, a budget that reflects uh, many of those bipartisan and, and widespread supported things like workforce training, ensuring safe workplaces, helping Americans who lose their jobs return to the workforce, uh, make up really the bedrock of uh, the department's responsibilities. At the same time, uh, the devil's always in the details. I was disappointed uh, with the proposed increase just simply because uh, it's an anticipated increase of $627 million for the department uh, when our total non-discretionary defense spending is increasing by $40 million. I guess my advice would be don't make big plans to spend that money yet, but we'll talk about um, that, I'm sure, as the hearing goes on. Uh, I think it's really the increase is only possible because of some attempts in other parts of this big budget for labor and education and health and human services uh, to believe that lots of things are going to happen on the mandatory side uh, that I have reason to believe can't happen in this Congress this year on the mandatory side. That doesn't mean uh, we're any less committed to uh, the real priorities we need to have on the discretionary side. I hope we can work together to find those priorities. Uh, as the country continues to recover from recession, it's really time, I think, for the administration to uh, admit that uh, government regulation and overreach are an obstacle to the kinds of job creation we'd like to see. I continue to have uh, serious concerns about the aggressive regulatory agenda uh, and the use of other methods to short circuit uh, the way that regulations should be uh, out there for people to see and think about and understand before they go into effect. I hear uh, in our state and from people all over the country about the adverse effects uh, that the department's regulations have had on them. I believe I could come up with uh, a regulation that any group you want to name is concerned about. And I think in many cases, Ms. Secretary, they're less concerned about the regulations themselves uh, than they are about uh, the uh, letters of interpretation, the things that seem to be moving toward more and new regulations without even going through uh, the regulatory uh, process. Um, the growth in the agency, the 779 new employees that this budget request, highly likely to, to not to uh, um, highly unlikely to happen, but we will be looking at the budget. We'll be really trying hard to find the areas uh, that we can agree on too, because we do want to have an agenda that moves forward for a better trained workforce, a safer workplace, uh, an America that has better jobs, that creates stronger families. Uh, and your department has an awful lot to do about helping create that atmosphere of uh, growth and better jobs rather than a re regulatory atmosphere uh, where the kinds of things that would normally happen otherwise uh, can't get around the obstacles uh, that some regulations create. But we're glad you're here. I'm certainly glad that uh, Senator Murray and I get to continue to work together on this committee, and I'd turn to her for her opening remarks. <laughs> 